Mr. President, the investment you've announced today, is that a vote of confidence for the Greek economy? And why did you choose our country? Is it the people? Is it the talent? Is it uh, something else that we don't know? Well, I think our investment today, which is by such a large margin, the biggest that Microsoft has ever made in Greece, is a reflection of all of those things. You know, it is a vote of confidence in the Greek economy, the forward-leaning government here, the talent here, the optimism about the economic recovery, and I think perhaps most importantly, what we think digital technology can do to enable all of these things. Uh, tell us a little bit about the Davos story. How did you come up with the idea of coming to invest in Greece? Well, uh, we had the opportunity to meet with the Prime Minister in Davos. Uh, there were a few things that we were interested in. We were already beginning to think about an a, a AI, artificial intelligence project around culture. Uh, but the Prime Minister was clear. He said, all of these things are good. Um, consider a data center investment. So he's really the one who, you know, frankly, accelerated our thinking. I was here in February. Uh, and uh, we continued to talk uh, remotely with meetings virtually, uh, you know, both in May and July. And I knew I was coming here in October. And we said, well, let's see if we can get everything done. And I, I think it's just terrific that we have. Uh, do you think that Greece can play a role like as a hub uh, for AI, for data centers, uh, for Southeastern Europe? I do believe that Greece has an important role to play for the region as a whole. Um, you know, we made this decision in part based on the Greek nation by itself, but I think there is so clearly an opportunity as a, a talent hub, as a research and development hub, as a telecommunications hub, uh, and you know, that's one of the opportunities this gives us is to support Greece as it pursues that. What's the state of play for the Olympia project? I know there is this uh, program that Microsoft is working on, AI for cultural heritage. What exactly does it entail? Well, we've been really fortunate to work with the Ministry of Culture and Sports and uh, work together to now gift to Greece uh, an application so that anyone, for example, who goes and visits Olympia uh, will be able to, say, take their phone uh, look at you know uh, a site, a part of the ruins, and what they'll see through their phone is not only the, the image that is there today through their camera, but they'll see superimposed the way Olympia looked in ancient times. They'll be able to look around and see you know the various statues and the like. And we'll do this not only in Olympia, we'll do this on the web. Um, we think that this is something that we hope will cause more people, even more people around the world, to say want to travel to Olympia to see this for themselves. And do you have a timeline for this? We're in the really the final weeks now, weeks to months, of finishing this project. Um, I think it's just almost extraordinary that people have been able to continue this work you know, during COVID. Uh, there's a team that came from France to help put together all of the digital images that are needed. Uh, so we've been go going full speed ahead, and I think we'll see interest this year, and as the Olympics approach next year, there'll be even more interest. Could you give me some numbers for the investment you just announced today? Can you describe, you know, the way ahead? Well, it's really a very multifaceted investment, and you know, we tend not to you know, publish the number for a, a specific figure, but there's a few things I can say. First, it, it requires a big capital investment. It's a huge construction project. Uh, for land, for buildings, for computers, for uh, uh, batteries and the like. Um, those typically run in the hundreds of millions of euros. Um, we're adding to that other investments here. I th the most important of which I think in terms of impact uh, is a commitment to help provide digital skills to 100,000 people in Greece over the next five years. So there's many different slices of this. And, and then I think while it's important for people to think about how much we're spending, what really matters is the impact. I think this will make you know, computing more accessible. It'll be much faster. It'll be more secure. It'll be cheaper. Uh, so we're really laying the infrastructure, if you will, uh, for what we think can be the type of advance um, that will improve people's lives and create new jobs here. Uh, let's shift a little bit the discussion into politics. We're only a month far away from the American elections. I wonder whether you sense that the technology uh, companies have done enough to protect the whole procedure from any malicious interference uh, to detect disinformation, for example. Well, I think that we are much better prepared for the presidential election in the United States in 2020 than we were in 2016. Um, first, we understand the problem in a way that was not appreciated four years ago. Second, 
you really have throughout the technology sector, uh, you know, every company you know, having hardened its defenses, fighting against disinformation. Uh, I think that will be important. And I think third, the U.S. government itself uh, has really strengthened its defenses and sent a message uh, that it's prepared to take deterrent action if it detects that there are foreign governments seeking to tamper with the U.S. elections. One should never declare victory before the election. Um, one should never be overconfident. Thank you very much. Thank you.